Okay, so the next thing I'm going to demo is how to integrate this micro application with Kafka and Oracle Cloud streaming. So I'm going to switch over to the application again. And once again, I'm going to drop into Terminal. From Terminal, I'm going to run MN feature diff and pick the Kafka feature. And that will describe to me exactly what I need to do to enable Kafka in this micro application. So as you can see, I need to add a dependency on the Micron Kafka module, which I can go into my build up rail and add that dependency right there. And if I want to connect to my local Kafka instance, I need to add configuration to my application.yaml to enable me to connect up to a locally running Kafka instance. And with those two changes in place, essentially, I am now able to communicate and build consumers and producers that uh, work with Kafka. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to my application and I'm going to actually define a new Kafka producer as a Java interface. And we're going to call it book producer. And this producer is going to produce messages that essentially are to, to, uh, to a particular topic, for example. And all I have to do is to, to enable that is add at Kafka client to my interface and define methods that publish data to a particular topic. So I'm going to pub publish to a topic called events, the events topic, and I'm going to send my book instance to the events topic uh, whenever um, at some point in my application. So what I'm going to do now is switch over to my application class, which is just a regular class, and I'm, make, I'm going to add a bean defining annotation to this class, making it a singleton. This will allow me to independently inject uh, components into the constructor of my application. So, so I can, for example, dependency inject my repository, and I can dependency inject my book producer uh, into my application class, and then uh, generate a constructor for those two. And uh, that'll allow me to uh, use both the producer and the repository in the application. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add an event listener that listens for uh, the startup event. And uh, and what I'm going to do in here is I need to make sure I import that, of course. When the application starts up, um, I'm going to save some more data. So I'm going to save an instance of my uh, book class to the database. And uh, I'm also going to once the book is saved, I'm going to send the book uh, using my um, uh, using my Kafka um, producer to my Kafka event stream. Uh, so I can actually save the results of this, uh, which include the the ID of the book, and then I can use my producer to say to send the book instance to my Kafka screen once the book has been saved, right? Uh, and it's really that simple to produce messages from, from Kafka, right? Uh, so how do I, how would I now um, consume messages um, when um, uh, via Kafka? So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to define a new Java class, and it's going to be my book consumer. So once I have a consumer, what I'm going to do to the consumer is simply add the at Kafka listener annotation to it. And what that does is in Micron Kafka is decoratively define this class as a Kafka listener uh, that is capable of listening on particular topics. And you can define the topics that you want to listen to by using the topic annotation and the name of the topic, in this case, events. So I'm going to define a receive method here that receives the book and simply uses, to keep this example simple, uh, system.out uh, print line to output the book title uh, and from the book received from the Kafka screen. And with, the, with that, you know, just output the title, there we go. And with that, it really is that simple to define a Kafka consumer with Micronaut Kafka um, and, and receive events from a, a stream. The only other thing to remember about Kafka consumers 
is that they start re reading data from the kind of latest um, available um, uh, message that gets received. Um, now you can control this with Micro Kafka using what's called uh, uh, the offset reset strategy. So if I can set a custom offset reset, so it starts reading the earliest possible record. And this is just to avoid so that when I start my application, there's no kind of race condition between sending um, sending my result, which I have a typo here, and receiving it. So I'm going to fix the typo. And um, I think we're ready to start my application with my local Kafka instance. So let's let's run the application and, and, and see what happens by focusing the debug console. And uh, it's still connecting up to our Oracle Autonomous Database, so it'll take a little bit. Uh, and there you go. See, the application has start, started up. And you can see in the output of uh, our, my debug console that uh, the title has been output to uh, the debug console right here. So my Kafka consumer is working. My Kafka producer is working. Streaming data, sending streaming data, and receiving streaming data within the same application. Um, and it really is that simple to do with Micronaut uh, Kafka. Now, obviously, this is not a super realistic example. Uh, typically, you would have like independent microservices with this application, for example, producing messages, um, and another application containing the consumer that um, that basically receives the messages. In this case, we've got them both in one. Um, but essentially, you can imagine. So the next step is to basically configure up our application to connect to uh, Oracle Cloud. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to basically, and I have already like some uh, configuration set up, which I'm going to use uh, to connect up to a uh, an OCI streaming Oracle Cloud streaming uh, um, streaming um, uh, destination. So all you have to do is set the Kafka Bootstrap services to a, your particular OCI streaming destination and configure Kafka appropriately uh, using the appropriate jazz config definition. Uh, there are links in on how to do this in the video. And with that, uh, I'm ready and uh, to basically connect up to OCI streaming, uh, Oracle Cloud streaming, and um, and uh, send and receive Kafka messages via Oracle Cloud using uh, Oracle Cloud's Kafka compatible API. Uh, so you know what's running is in fact Oracle Cloud services, but they present an Oracle um, Kafka compatible API. So when I start my application up here, you will see that it'll connect up to the topics uh, in Oracle Cloud streaming and um, and basically, my message will be sent to those topics, and I can subscribe. And in fact, I had already sent some prior messages. And because I'm using offset reset earliest, it's receiving those messages as well, in addition to the one I sent. Um, so as you can see, uh, my offset strategy, offset reset strategy of earliest works as defined. And my data is coming back and forth from uh, Oracle Cloud Streaming and working uh, exactly as I anticipated. Uh, so as you can see, really, it is that simple. To, uh, to develop applications, streaming applications that connect up via OCI streaming. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed this demonstration.